Come on. Come on. I know what you're here for. Come on. We get high like it's Friday. So you all excited. You done started your home mycology quest. You just got your spools in the mail. But now you need a medium to grow them on. Agar cups should be what you need. Agar is a type of red algae. It's going to be used as a supplementation for your mycelium to grow on. And today I'm going to show you how to make that shit. Let me show you how to do that. Okay, so we're using a 3 2 1 recipe for this technique. 3 grams of potato flakes, 2 grams of agar, 1 gram of corn syrup, and a half a cup of water. Now you can upscale it how you like. Make sure you get one of these Pyrex jars for pressure cooking later on. I picked up one of these laser thermometers a while back. Get you one of these to measure the temperature of the agar. You're gonna need you some agar powder. Most people go with telephone. You're gonna need you some Cairo syrup too. If you got some honey in the cabinet, you can use that. Now these mashed potatoes, they're gonna be your main nutrient source. So yeah. get you some ketchup cups to pour your agar in. Great value is zero out of 10, I don't recommend it. You gonna see why later in the video. Now this food coloring is not necessary, but it'll help you spot bacteria when your mycelium is actually growing on a medium. Plus it add a nice touch to it. Now it's time to mix our ingredients. And when mixing, I always do your dry ingredients first. Now remember, we upscaled this recipe. So instead of three, two, one, we using 12, eight, four, and about two cups of water. So if you wanna follow my recipe, that's what I use. I got a lot of agar cups to pour. The measurements don't have to be too precise. You can go a little over or under. You ain't gotta be in here like a mad scientist and shit. Now it's time for the corn syrup. Boy, do I hate dealing with this sticky. All right, now it's time to get that water in the pot. Seems like we boil a lot of water on this channel. Mm. Now let's get these dry ingredients incorporated in our mixture. And as always, with everything, we stir vigorously. Then we're gonna put this corn syrup in there. Now with just a little bit more vigorous stirring in this bitch. And don't mind my stirring, man. I just like to make sure everything mixed up. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna pour our concoction into our bottle. Hey, y'all make sure y'all be real careful with this because it's real hot. Have you ever had a pudding burn? It'll burn your ass like pudding. I know you ain't had no pudding burn before. Oh. And a couple drops of this here magic sauce. Give it a little stir. Actually, give this motherfucker a big ass stir because it don't like to mix all the way. Now this is where the laser thermometer will come into play. You ideally want to work with this shit around 145, 150. You just don't want it too hot to where it melts your ketchup cups. Or you don't want it too cold to where it solidifies. Now while it's cooling, you can go ahead and get your cups prepared. What you want to do is just place your cups down and put the tops on them. So that when you put the agar in them, you can quickly put the top back on. See, I'm operating out my steel air box which is the next best thing to a flow hood. It basically cuts down on particles of air in your workspace. It's gonna assist you in keeping out contaminated air and also other germs like trichoderma. Now remember when I told y'all great value is zero out of 10 recommend? I'm gonna show y'all why right here, look, look. Now y'all gotta remember, I sped this clip up times four. Why is it taking me this long to put this damn cap back on this ketchup cup? It should never take this long, G. So if you can, spend a little extra money, man, and get you some name brand cups, god damn. You might start to see condensation build up around your cups, like the lids of your cups. Condensation ain't really nothing to be worried about, though. And this is what the finished product look like. Can't tell me these don't look like little jello shot. Now for storage, you can put these in the fridge. Just make sure you let your company know these ain't jello shots. Who taught you? Golden teacher taught me. Yeah, a couple golden teacher videos, and now you think you got that on my college. Look at you. You a sign. You got this my college shit. You're awesome. Now you can be all right, y'all. And the 
next video, we're gonna get some grain jars started. And that's a step up from Uncle B's crib.